Okay, I got a lot of questions about my computer. So what is the computer I use for editing video using Filmora? So this is my computer. Uh, it is a laptop, okay, so the brand is Dell Latitude. Hi guys, welcome to another tutorial on my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you some basic video editing tips in Filmora 12. Okay, so today we're going to talk about project, media, timeline and some of the most common use feature in Filmora 12. Okay. Okay, so this is the start page of Filmora. So first up, we are going to talk about the project. This is a button to create a new project and you can open your recent project also. And here are all the local projects and you have Eastern Mode project, which is another kind of project in Filmora. And on the left side, you have the cloud project. If you upload any project to Wondershare Cloud, then you will have it here. Just click this button. But for now, I don't have any cloud project because I don't use Wondershare server to upload my project. Okay, so let's go back to create project. And in order to control the information of your project, you want to select the aspect ratio right here first. For example, for a YouTube video, I can select 16 by 9. For an Instagram video, I can select 1 by 1. Or for a short YouTube video, I can select 9 by 16 portrait right here. Okay, for example, I can select 16 by 9. And then I can just click here at this button to create a new project. Okay, so we have just created a new project with Filmora. But before trying to import something or trying to start your editing you want to save your project first in order to do that you want to click here at the file button and then you want to click here save project or you can use a keyboard shortcut Control s to save your project okay and now you want to give it a name for example i can make it jackie demo number one and i need to select a folder on my computer for example this is my femora trout data and Wondershare Filmora and this is project and now I can click save so this is our first project or our brand new project and now you want to check the project information you want to click file again and select project setting and this is the aspect ratio and this is the resolution and being mentioned that with Filmora trial you can edit up to 4k video for example here this is 4k video you cannot edit 5k 6k or 8k with this software okay and down here you have the frame rate option where you can change the fps of your project for example 24 frames per second 25 30 50 and up to 60 frames per second okay but for now i can select 24 frames per second and the next option is the color space if you shoot your video in standard profile then you want to use this option sdr rec 709 but for someone who shoot in hdr or log file then you want to change the color space to this option hdr rec 2100 hlg <laughs> for someone who shoot your video in log file then you want to select different color space right here okay and now you want to click okay okay so that is about the project information in Filmora trail and the next thing you want to consider when editing video using Filmora is about the editing layout so if you want to change the editing layout it is very simple you want to click here at this option layout mode and then you want to change it to classic short video organized timeline or you want to stick with default layout so normally when you install the program it will be the default layout so the default layout will look like this so you have the project information on the right side, the preview at the center and the timeline here and also this is a media and some important folder right here. But in my opinion, I think the default layout is not as good as the classic layout. So that's the reason why I always go with classic layout instead of the default one. So you want to come back to the classic layout, you want to click here at this layout mode and then you want to select classic. But some people will create short video and they can just click here at the short video layout okay for me i always use this one classic so that is about the layout in filmora trial and the next thing is about the media so media is a folder right here so you see on the left side of the program this is the media folder it is like a library where you can import your video image and sound effect and also music or stuff like that so anything you want to edit you want to import into this media and to import something into this media it is very simple you can drag and drop or you can just click here at this import button for example i can just click here okay for example here i have some image on my computer so all i need to do is to highlight all of them 
and then I can just click here open to import it to the media and being mentioned that when your video or image are in the media folder you can change the view option and also short it by name by date something like that so you want to click here at this option view option you want to view it in list view or last thumbnail medium thumbnail or small thumbnail you want to click here to change and you can short it by name duration type and date created something like that so normally i would select name because my image will be in an order one two three four five and that is how to import and if you want to import more media to this library you want to click here at this button import media and you have the button right here also import and you can import media file from a media folder and you can also import from camera or phone and import from other applications such as google drive one drive or Dropbox or stuff like that all right and in the media folder, there's a global media. So global media is the folder that you can reuse for your next project. For example, normally I will import the intro and logo, intro, meme and sound effect and music and subscribe button and channel logo here also. So these are the, the thing that I normally use in all of my video for this channel and other channel. So that is about the media folder, okay? So that is very important. If you want to start editing video using Filmora, you want to know how to import your video image and sound effect and music into the program before editing. Okay, and the next thing you want to know in Filmora Trial is about the timeline. So at the bottom of the program, you see the timeline. So this is where you can assemble your video image or stuff like that. And you have some track here. For example, let's go back to my media and then if I want to edit my video or image, all I need to do is to drag all of them onto the timeline. So this is how you can put your video or image onto the timeline by drag and drop. Okay. And when you play it on the timeline, you see it will be at the preview window. So if you put anything here, it will be displayed right here. So this is your video. And being mentioned that this timeline has many tracks and up to 100 tracks and you can manage the track with this button. Manage track, you can just click here and add video track and add audio track and stuff like that. So you can add up to 100 video track and 100 audio track on this timeline. And there are some buttons to control the timeline. For example, if you want to move the timeline from left to right, you can just click here at this slider and move it to to the right to the left and you can zoom in or zoom out the timeline with this button okay just zoom in and then zoom in the timeline and zoom out the timeline and you can just click here to view everything on the timeline okay so this is your timeline and if you put anything here it will be displayed here and if you overlay this video or this image up here it will be displayed here so this is the first image and this is the second image you see the transition right from the first image to the second one and whenever you select anything here you will see the button here these are all the main function of the program or the most common use feature in the program for example i have ctrl z which is this button undo button okay undo if i want to split the image on the timeline i can just click this button to split it and if i want to delete it i can select it here and then i can click this button to delete it and being mentioned that you can also rearrange this button on the timeline with this button so this is the button to manage all the button on top of the timeline okay just click here and if you want to show any button you want to click here and drag it and put it right here for example i want to put the motion tracking right here okay nice right and this is the keyframing i want to put it right here instead of here okay and then you, you want to click save and now you see this is a keyframe and it is a motion tracking and being mentioned that when you select the object on the timeline okay like this you see the available button right here on top of the timeline if the button is right meaning that it is not available for this subject for example you cannot change the speed of the image on the timeline you also have a pop-up menu when you can access to the available function of the program for example i can select here or the image here and then i can just right click and we see the pop-up menu so you have all the available function here 
She just rip or delete, delete, copy and cut and disable clip and select clip, crunch or stuff like that. So these are the most common use feature in Filmora. You can find it just on top of the timeline or at the pop-up menu right here. Okay. Alright, so I think that's enough for today's video. This is just the first video in my basic guide series of Filmora Trail. I hope this video is helpful for you. If you have any more questions, just let me know in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye!